Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay, so I don't know what I'm going to be talking about this time, and part of the reason for that is that it's not that long after I filmed the last one, it's like a few days later, I haven't really had a chance to think about it yet. The reason I'm doing it now is because my schedule this week means I, once again, don't have a weekend day off, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Um... I'm, I'm not used to that. I almost consistently have at least one weekend day off uh, just because of the way that I'm usually scheduled. It's a little bit unusual for me to have two weekends in a row where I'm working both days over the weekend. I'm not going to complain. I will work whenever I'm, you know, scheduled to work. It doesn't make any difference to me whatsoever. Um, but in terms of like filming this, usually I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to do my food shop on Saturday and I'm going to film my vlog. But I haven't been able to do that the last couple of weeks. <laughs> to be fair, I did do my food shop on the same day that I filmed last week. Um, I think. And I could theoretically, no, no, I did it the day before. I did it the day before because I did it on Thursday and then I did my food shopping on the Friday, um, which is when I usually upload. So I try to avoid filming the same day that I upload because that works out like it's just um because of um I because of the way that I I use OneDrive to back up everything um, that I film for the vlog. Uh, that slows down the internet connection and when you're trying to upload a vlog. It's the same reason why I don't edit on, um, on the same day that I upload, because it just slows down the connection. Um, and uploading these videos already takes like a year as it is. So, uh, yeah, that's why I usually don't film on the same day that I upload them. So last week I filmed on a Thursday and I'm used to doing it on the Saturday and today's Tuesday. I think the last time I filmed one on a Tuesday, it was my birthday and it was in response to us going into full lockdown on my birthday. <laughs> and it was me like changing the vlog for the for that week for like the third time because things had just been changing so rapidly. So I'd like I filmed it on the Sunday and then I had to film it again, I think on the Monday after some things had changed. And then I filmed it again on Tuesday, and the Tuesday one was the one that eventually um, went out, I believe. But yeah, that's uh, one of the few times where I've had to do like refilming of a vlog multiple times before it's actually gone up. Um, and this time I'm like filming a vlog not that many days after I've just filmed a vlog, so my brain isn't really thinking, oh yeah, I, I need to sort of come up with something to talk about this time, and instead is more of a, oh, this is my only opportunity this week to <laughs> film one. <laughs> oh, I better get to it. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit like that, and um, so... Yeah, and now I have to decide what the rest of this vlog is going to be about. Um, not always either it's not like when you sort of like come down like come down come to sit down and actually film them sometimes your brain just goes like completely blank sometimes the thing that you think you want to talk about isn't something that you can talk about yet or um various things like that so it can get uh, a lot complicated um not complicated very quickly <laughs> So I guess um, in terms of updating on life stuff, um, the film night with my friends was very successful. We are planning to attempt it again this weekend. We haven't decided on a film yet. Um, <laughs> we, we have some options, but we haven't decided on a film yet. Um, don't know yet if that will turn into a weekly thing or if it will just turn into a whenever, you know, whenever the opportunity presents itself kind of thing. Um, it's quite nice having the video chat with my friends, although we were so horribly out of sync with the film at various points. Um, 
one of their cat, one of them kept getting lag. Um, because we were using Disney Plus, we we all got the Disney Plus, so we were using Disney Plus. Um, one of them was getting serious lag, so kept falling behind. Um, and then when they switched over to using their Blu-ray, because they actually did have Blu-ray copy as well, um, they then ended up ahead <laughs> of me. <laughs> we didn't really sync particularly well. Um, so it, it, it sort of, yeah, it, we, we, we had issues trying to get everybody into sync, but it was fun anyway. And then we spent some time after the film just chatting amongst ourselves for a little while. So yeah, that was really nice. Um, probably would have been nicer if we were all physically in the same place, but you yeah, know, it was nice, it was different. So I'm looking forward to, to that happening again this week. Um, in terms of seeing the cute friend in February, that is definitely not happening now. Um, just because of, you know, well, lockdown being what it is, various things like that. Um, it's not happening in February. Fingers crossed that we can organise something for March, but it really, really does depend on the lockdown situation, especially since my work has uh, posted some stricter rules <laughs> of their own. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I need to sort of work out what would and wouldn't be violating them and if they are just for the current lockdown or if there is things that need to be considered after the lockdown situation depending on what tier we tiers we're in because obviously the cute friend does not live where I live they uh, will be probably in a different tier to me so have to be considerate of whatever of whatever that is and how that will impact with the <laughs> with the new things <laughs> that my work has, <laughs> has let us know about. Um, but fingers crossed that will be fine, that's not going to be too much of a big deal um, once we reach March, but it also makes it very difficult to sort of plan anything at this stage because don't know how long the lockdown is going to last. Um, it could well be that the lockdown is over in mid-February if it is that's still a month to organise everything that I need to organise um, in order to make the, the trip happen because it will be me having to <laughs> having to make the trip <laughs> rather than the other way around, which is fine. Um, actually, quite looking forward to it. Um, but it's a case of uh, until I know definitely that the lockdown is going to be lifted and that the new things that work brought in isn't going to affect me being able to make the trip happen um because obviously the last thing I want to do is accidentally get into trouble with work because you know I do actually care about my job and I don't want to be disciplined unnecessarily um so I, I will sort of double check what the rules are and make sure that it is just for the lockdown situation and based on whatever tier we go into after the lockdown situation just to make sure you know that I've covered my back and that, you know, that it is still okay to happen as long as we are not in a lockdown situation um, and as long as, you know, we are not in the tiers where you can't travel um, or, you know, whatever, because system in and of itself is very complicated and not always the easiest thing to figure out. Um, so, yeah, provided Provided everything is in our favour, hopefully March. Um, but like I said, it's uh, it's one of those things where it's a little bit difficult to sort of figure anything out at the moment, just because of really just because of how things are and you know where the world is at and, and various things like that. So roll on vaccine. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, I. I I'd like for the country before the end of this year to be in a situation where maybe we haven't established full herd immunity, but things are slightly easier uh, in terms of, of socialising, just simply because, you know, I do live on my own and although I don't have any issues with living on my own, I am not necessarily 
lonely. I do want to be able to see the people that I care about <laughs> in person rather than over video call. Um, and that, that's, I think, very much where I am at the moment. I'm, it's not, I'm not, you know, suffering too much with my mental health, fortunately. I'm not suffering too much in feeling isolated or lonely. I mean, being able to actually go into work and actually see my work colleagues does help there a lot. Um, but in terms of, I just want to be able to see the people that I care about and not have to worry um, about it and, and stuff like that. So. That's very much where I am at the moment. It's not a case of, you know, I'm feeling depressed or lonely or agitated um, because I live on my own and it's very isolating because I do have some social contact, even if mostly it that is work or via video calls or via messenger and stuff like that. It's more a case of, I've just very much reached that point where I would like to be able to see the people that I care about again. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's very much the theme of, of this one. And, you know, the theme of the last couple is that I kind of reached that point where it would just be nice to socialise with the outside world again, because I'm coming up on almost a year of things not being as easy to do. Um, because I think it was, uh, I think it was around this time last year that, because obviously my my mum uh, is the one that I, uh, the member of my family that I do was seeing the most. I think they went on holiday around this time, and then they had like a weekend away in February, which sort of disrupted it a little bit. Um, and definitely, I don't think I I saw them at all in March. Um, so definitely from March of last year, my usual social schedule kind of completely changed. I um, mean, obviously, I saw my dad once uh, in person last year for more than just him dropping stuff off. off. <laughs> um, and my mum did sort of come home down a couple of times when the tears were sort of uh, not so bad for the area that I'm living in. Um, but it was only the couple of times uh, during that that sort of whole thing, and you know, it's yeah. I'd I'd like for my social life to go back to what it was, with the option of maybe seeing people a little bit more, <laughs> being maybe a little bit more social. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it's you know, as as I said. I'm not one of those who's, who really suffers with mental health issues um, or depression or anxiety in that way where this situation is very tough for people and I, you know my best friend is one of those who is finding this situation very challenging um, in terms of their mental health um, but you know they, they suffer from such terrible anxiety and everything else anyway so you know it's it's hard on them, but everything seems to be hard on them. And I'm not saying that to do, diminish, you know, uh, the issues that they do have. I do fully sympathise um, with, you know, the, the the fact that they do suffer from, from depression and from anxiety. Um, I seriously wish they would go into counselling, but obviously this situation at the moment means that's another roadblock for them getting the help that they actually need. Um, so I just try to be there for them as much as possible, and it's just, you know, that's just how it is. I'm very fortunate that my mental health is a lot more robust, um, but I'm not, I'm, um, you know, the phone just went wrong and then I'm completely off where I actually was. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm fortunate that my mental health is as robust as it is, but I'm not saying that to diminish, you know, people who are genuinely struggling with this situation. If you're genuinely struggling with this situation, you know, that's, that's fair. That's an absolutely valid reaction. Some people with previously robust mental health are also really struggling with this situation. You know, um, it is what it is. It's, it is tough for people. It is difficult for people. I'm fortunate that it hasn't impacted my mental health as much as it has other people. Um, I mean, I'm just at a point where 
I just want it to sort of be over. <laughs> but I think everybody's kind of at that point for various uh, for various reasons and in various ways. So yeah, yeah, I kind of yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at still. And as I said, that's it's kind of why the last couple of vlogs have been sort of focusing on me doing potentially social things um it's because i'm just at that point now where i just really not even so much want the human contact just want to be able to see the people that i care about in person um that's really all it comes down to is i I want to make sure the people I care about are okay because, you know, I, I know I'm fine. Um, but I want to make sure the people I'm, I care about are okay. I want to be able to do things properly with the people that I care about um, because I miss them. Um, you know, so that's that's very much where I am with it all at the moment. And, um, yeah. So I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I know it's been kind of an odd trilogy of vlogs <laughs> the last few weeks. Um, but I think that's just very much where my head's been at uh, since the start of the year. Um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope you're looking forward to the next one and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!